we like to present a case of a 26 year old male who was carpenter by profession and who came with complaints of uh, painless loss of vision in the right eye since one month following injury while hammering so most likely it was a iron foreign body uh, he had consulted elsewhere and was treated with topical antibiotics the x-ray orbit was normal did not reveal any uh, intraocular or intraorbital foreign body and his old report suggested that the uh, vision in the right eye was 6 by 6 the pupils uh, revealed that an affer afferent pupillary defect was present in the right eye and as you can see the slit lamp shows a typical uh, cataract following siderosis uh, the vision in that eye was hand movement close to face the intraocular pressure was normal and uh, there was no uh, intraocular foreign body seen in the anterior chamber or on gonioscopy uh, foreign body was not seen intraocularly as per the b scan and a ct scan also did not reveal a intraorbital foreign body so based upon the investigation findings we plan to do a cataract surgery with or without intraocular lens in the right eye uh, followed by a fundus evaluation and erg and then taking a further decision depending upon whether we are able to see any foreign body or not so uh, this is the video of the cataract surgery for uh, the patient uh the staining of the anterior lens capsule using uh, tripan blue we also found that uh, 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 the stain did not take very well on the anterior lens capsule uh, which uh, otherwise it would for a case of a mature cataract so we decided to start doing the rexis for the patient and as you can see that there are certain Uh, uh, rust deposits or iron deposits on the anterior lens capsule, and also there is a central plaque, uh, which reveals that probably the intralenticular structures are adherent to each other. Uh, we initiated the rexis with a flap, but while we were doing the rexis, uh, I realized that uh, it was not easy because the uh, anterior lens capsule. was firmly stuck to the cortex and hence uh, doing a rexis uh, capsular rexis continuous uh, curvilinear capsular rexis was not possible so we uh, decided to do a can opener uh, capsulotomy uh, involving all the uh, iron deposits on the anterior lens capsule into it so that we can get rid of them also most of them it especially the larger ones were included also uh, we ensured that the capsulotomy is complete using a intra uh, ocular scissors to cut the capsular remnants and while doing the hydro dissection or hydro procedure uh the nucleus gradually popped up an important finding which was seen during the uh, surgery was that uh, there were some cilia present in the subconjunctival space uh, along the uh, nasal part of the sclera which was perhaps the entry wound uh, which we thought perhaps was the entry wound from for the for iron foreign body and uh, as you can see that the nucleus has simply popped up and uh, out of the bag and we decided to just coat the endothelium with a uh, adhesive viscoelastic agent and go, uh, go ahead and remove the uh, nucleus with a phaco emulsification coat while doing the phaco emulsification we realized that the nucleus was a bit sticky just like the way we get in uh, diabetic cataracts and there was no cortex as such or even the epineucleus as such it was purely a nucleus uh, which was occupying the intralenticular space so because there was not much of uh, uh, epineuclear support i was bit careful especially during the last part or the last piece of the nucleus so that the uh, phaco probe does not touch and cause uh, rent of the posterior lens capsule because our ultimate aim was also to put the uh, uh, intraocular lens 
so the last piece was done under low vacuum carefully without causing any uh, chamber fluctuation also without causing any damage to other intraocular structures because we are not very sure about the integrity of the uh, zonules or whatever was left of the bag but we found it to be intact and hence we put a, a hydrophobic intraocular lens which we had originally planned into the so called bag or behind the uh, capsulotomy margin at the end of the surgery the lens was found to be stable it was not decentered or subluxated as such so it was a satisfactory surgery as such we removed the cilia but the entry wound was obviously not there so this is the slit lamp photograph at 3 weeks post op the patient's vision has improved to 6 by 60 we are awaiting his uh, erg report and a fundus uh, evaluation which was normal though we have asked for a vr opinion these are a few references uh, siderotic cataract has been reported to develop 8 years after uh, iron foreign body injury hence periodic evaluation is a must thank you